Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use my uh, simple mobile squeeze page generator. Okay, start the software. Um, you'll get this splash screen, which uh, you're probably watching this video from right now. Close that, and the software starts proper. You've got eight steps to complete. First one is to choose the background color. I like maroon. You can either type it in if you know the proper HTML uh, color, or you can use look up the hex code and use that. Uh, either will work. Okay, then you need to choose the color of the main text, and um, that's the biggest text on the on the page, which is what you should use to grab their attention. Oh, color here, now. so I like to use yellow because that's a good color to use. Obviously, match that to the background color that you've chosen. Now you need to enter the text for that. Um, this is your main bribe text. First thing they're going to see and, and read, and this is where you want to hook them and try and get them to give you your give you their email. So let's see, download free guide. Should fit, I think. Five, four to six words. If you put too many in, it will just overflow and you won't see it on the screen. Okay, just below that, you've got a another section where you can further encourage them to give you their email. Just making this up. I don't know if this copy would actually work. Probably not because it's a bit fictitiously made up. Okay, next you need to put in your Aweber list name. At the moment, it only works with Aweber. Uh, I'm working on getting it to work with a few more um, autoresponder providers. Um, but you just need to put in the list name itself without the at Aweber. So let's just make something up here. And next you want to enter a URL to redirect them to once they've submitted their email. Um, this will override any settings you've got in your Aweber list. Um, and a good tip here is to send them to a relevant CPA, mobile CPA offer. And that way you can recoup some of your, your advertising costs straight up. I'm just going to put in Google here for now. Okay. Next you want to enter the text that you're going to put on your button. Um, keep this short. Um, I've left an example just here. Um, so send my free guide now. It really is this simple. Okay, and that's it. Done. Now you either want to copy it to uh, your clipboard where you can paste it into your HTML editor if you wanted to make any further adjustments to it, or you could just save it straight as HTML and it's ready to go. I'm just going to pause it while I save this in the box. Okay, I'm just going to save this as index in the same, not sorry, save it as a HTML, in the same file as I've got the rest of the folders, and so I can run it straight from my desktop here. Okay, save. File saved, job done. Okay, and you've noticed in the background there that popped up, index. So we can now just open this up. Open with Firefox. Okay, and as you can see, this is all ready formatted, ready to go on to uh, or to be seen on um, mobile devices. And it really is that simple. Uh, just now I'll show you how, where you need to put all the files. Okay, um, when it comes to actually uploading it, the only three things that you need to upload to your server in the place that you want them is this images folder, the JS folder, and your newly generated HTML file. Uh, your website landing page, squeeze page. That's it. Job done. Thank you very much.